Hey everyone, this is Evan here from Round UK on a Tenor Day. One of the questions we get asked all the time is how do you feed five on a five or a day? Well, let me show you. Hey everybody, it's Evan here and today me and dad are going mackerel fishing and if we catch something I'm going to show you how to cook it around the UK on a tenner a day style. just caught these five lovely mackerel and the best way to eat them is fresh from the sea and straight into the pan. So to fillet fish you need to take the knife cut at an angle away from this behind front this fin so to the back so you've got your cutting backwards towards the tail so you cut at an angle just across there and down to there um, and then you sort of back so you've got to try and not piercing the gut because you haven't gutted them you don't need to gut them before you fillet them so try and keep it the knife at a bit of an angle go along the spine try not to get any bone in it and then get to the tail and cut it off there and they have filled the mackerel pop it in the tub Turn it over and do exactly what you've just done on this side, on this side. So tonight I'm going to be cooking couscous, fried mackerel fillets and green salad. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the couscous. So we're going to take 250 grams of whole wheat couscous. So just put the kettle on to boil and whilst that the kettle's boiling we're going to put a pinch of salt in. Um, this is sort of, you can do it to taste. Um, Dad quite likes a bit of salt, so I just put a rather a big pinch in, so sort of see. So that's sort of much, because uh, everything else is going to have salt in it, really. So you just put that in, and then wait for the kettle to boil. So we need to measure out about 500 millilitres of water. Uh, 
make sure it's all covered. So just gonna leave that for about five, 10 minutes and then we've got to fluff it up so it doesn't uh, form lumps. So we've left this couscous now for about 10, five or 10 minutes. So we've now got to fluff it so uh, it doesn't create big lumps. So now we've fluffed it. Uh, you can just add a bit of pepper in, um, but we're gonna put some other bits and bobs in. So you just put a grinding of pepper in. Give it a bit of a stir. And something that we like to put in our couscous is like a spice mix, it's called zatar. And it's sort of a Middle Eastern spice mix. And so before we came away, we made loads of the stuff. And um, so have a look at it. Sort of, it's cumin, chili, um, mixed herbs and salt and sesame seeds and smells really good um, and a bit of paprika in that so we'll just put a bit in no needs quite a bit to give it quite a bit of flavour you see the paprika on my hands Ooh. a very important thing is when you're cooking is once you cook something is to try it now this is one of the best bits just That tastes darn good to me. So we're now going to make the salad and the thing about that's great about salad is it's really healthy and we love it. And so today we're going to chuck in some lettuce, carrot, courgette and tomato. So now we're going to need to stir it up. This is really not working. The joys of living in a small space having to have small bowls. There we go. So we're now going to cook the mackerel fillets and the thing about fresh food is you have to keep it simple. None of this bit of that, bit of this, we're just going to pan fry them in a bit of oil and then I put a bit of soy sauce in. Let's get started. You don't want too much oil but you need enough for it to actually fry. So put the stove on, make sure it's actually turned on. You don't want it on too high, but uh, you want it to you want a quite high temperature so that you're actually frying it in the oil. So when you put the mackerel in, you should put it uh, skin skin side down so you crisp the skin up. But uh, when it goes in, you need to move it around, otherwise the skin will stick and then it all your pan will burn. Um, and then if you don't, then you won't get the skin on the top. But then with a lovely bit of fried skin, it just is bellissimo, absolutely amazing. Uh, we'll just see if that's hot enough yet. I reckon it is. Get some. So, if it sizzles like that, it means that it's good. So, just move it around so it's really starting to stick. But once you've uh, moved it around, uh, what, stick a bit? Should be good. So these are the fillets of the mackerel that uh, we caught earlier. Um, I that one. The only you could smell that smell, I mean, it's heavenly. So you don't, they don't take long. Um, you can start to see them flaking. Um, at the bottom on the uh, bottom side and all the juices are coming out which uh, 
They're not gonna go to waste, believe me. Oh. You want maybe a minute on each side and then you wanna flip them. So you can see it's starting to cook there. And you can see there's a bit of the skin still on but uh might have stuffed it. Ah, oh, so you get the nice pretty skin. On this big one. Oh, like that. Just be careful of it spitting in the oil. So when you're cooking them, you need to make sure you've got something to put them on uh, when they're ready instead of faffing around, you know, then. So it's good for a plate with maybe a bit of kitchen roll on it, but you don't need that. Just a plate will do. Or you put it straight onto your food, but as a... Um, or straight serving it, is made, I mean. But uh, I've got a couple more fillets to cook, so I'm just going to put it on a plate. So these look done now. Um, and so I'm just going to put them on this plate. So when you take them out, just uh, give them a little thing to see if they get any oil off the uh, bottom of there. Any oil on them. There we go. Um, and so I just put that one in, so I'll leave that a minute. And don't delay, get the next lot in really, because you want to serve them hot. So you don't want to wait for them to cool down too much. So, so these are done now, and so what I'm going to do is these ones that I took off, I'm going to put them back in the pan, so if they need to heat up or anything, they'll do that. And also, um, I'm then going to put a bit of uh, soy sauce in with them, and then just cook them like that for a minute. Uh, you don't have to do soy sauce, you could just eat them like that, and they'll still be really good. But um, just adding a little bit of soy sauce, put the juices in, um, there's bits there, that just enhances the flavour even more. Sorry. Put a bit of soy in. Give them a shift you around. Come back in the heat, turn the temperature off it. And then So you can see you've got all those juices sizzling in there and then my advice to you is do not serve this up on a platter serve that out of the pan you've got all the juices all the little burnt bits all the scrape skins to scrape off the bottom and then the flavor and the fun and enjoy of it will be so much nicer so i reckon now that's done and so just turn it off and let's go eat. Go. Here we go. Tuck it in. Oh, Evan, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can't be fresh fish straight from the ocean. With a yeah. nice straight healthy fish. salad. Mm. Uh, I don't think the healthy salad comes from Two big fish I caught. Um, oh, I caught the two big fish. No, I just no, caught the three I small ones. It. No, effort. I got the two big one and one small one, she caught two small ones. What? Really delicious. I still caught the big fish. Thank you, Evan. Well done. Cooking. You're welcome. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks, Evan. Mm. Who's cooking next time? Me. Great. This is divine. You can go and turn it off if you want, Evan. Bring it back. Tim, the skin's lovely, darling. Okay.